Hello everyone, today we are comparing two boost pedals from TC Electronic. So we have the Rush Booster which is part of the new lineup of very affordable pedals and we have the Spark Mini Booster. The prices of both these pedals are pretty much the same but how do they affect your tone? Now they are both true bypass, they have up to 20 dB of boost but the one major difference here is the foot switch. With the Spark Mini Booster, besides being able to turn it on and off, you can actually have the boost turned on for as long as you hold on the foot switch. Now one more thing that might matter to some people is that with the Spark Booster, the pedal turns on the moment the foot switch is depressed. However, with the Rush Booster, the pedal turns on when the foot switch comes back up. So remember, when you press it down, it doesn't turn on yet, but when you let it go, it turns on. So let's check out how they affect your tone. So I'm going to put them through the front of the amp first to hear how it boosts the gain of the amp. Then we're going to put it in the effects loop and hear how it affects your tone when you're boosting in terms of volume. So I have a Gibson Les Paul Classic with P90s going into a Hughes and Canada 2 Meister Deluxe 20. <laughs> So there you go, those were both the pedals in the front of the M followed by the effects loop. Personally, I felt that the Spark Booster is a much more transparent sounding pedal compared to the Rush Booster. I felt that with the Rush Booster, there is some sort of slight elevated treble and probably it makes the low end slightly dull. Thus, in my opinion, I find that the Spark Mini Booster a much better choice. However, if you need to run the boost pedal on a battery, then you might prefer to go with the Rush Booster since the Spark Mini cannot fit a battery inside its enclosure. Leave a comment down below on what you think about the tones achieved here today. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content and see you real soon.